Applied for thousands of jobs, but no offer. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Let me see your resume. Ew. Too long. No keywords. No impact. Grammar mistakes. You don't know how to spell? Did you get a call back from the hiring manager? If not, there must be something wrong with your resume. Do you know that usually recruiters only have 10 seconds to take a look at your resume? So your resume has to be very eye-catching or may not be written and direct go to the trash bin. Recently, someone reached out to me that he already applied for 2,500 jobs and he was only able to get about 10 interviews all of those applications. On top of that, he got no offers. That was because he made several mistakes on his resume. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product from drnancy.com. I help people transition from a worker bee to a product manager and business leader. To learn the most effective way to land a product manager job, you should subscribe to the channel and turn on the red bell button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the tips I provided, I really appreciate you can hit the blue like button so that I have more motivation to make videos like this. One of my subscribers messaged me recently that she used the right template I shared with her about product manager resume. She was able to get way more interviews within one month. So these resume mistakes can actually cost you a job. So if you don't know how to avoid them, you'd better to watch this video and also make sure to stay until the end of the video. I'm going to share you some of the bonuses so that you're able to get your offer very quickly. Even if you do not want to get a product manager job, the mistake I'm sharing with you here is going to be applicable to any other jobs as well. So let's get started. Mistake number one, didn't know how to write a high impact statement on your resume. Do you know that Elon Musk loved to hire people working for his company such as SpaceX, mainly focused on the prior achievement because it's very difficult for recruiters and hiring managers to understand what you can contribute to the future job without knowing how well you have done in the past. So therefore, in those interviews, we always like to hear your achievement among all the candidates. If you spend a short amount of time to achieve way bigger results, I like to hire you. So now let me give you a specific example. The mistakes I made earlier in my career that cost me lots of job opportunities just gone poof. And for example, in this resume, that's one of my earlier resume, we might talk about what I did back in school, some of the school projects that only listed exactly what I did in terms of invented a novel method to measure like viscosity of freestanding PMMA and thin films. It's crazy because I only talk about what I did without describing what the impact and is it the first time in the industry have invented something, things like this. So therefore, I would rather to write it in a very different way to show more impact. Let me show you another example that I have improved on. And later on, on my resume, I said this way, advise senior executive management on 32 million fuel cell business investment through assessment of return on investment on a billion dollars market. So this new version of the sentence and sounds like I made a bigger impact by showing the scope of work I did. That's one way to show your impact. Another way to show it is directly talk about the results you have achieved. Now let me show you an even better way to quantify your result and impact. Initiate company's first subscription business improvement project and reduce overdue payment by 90%, revenue impact of $35 million. So what we did here, we directly talk about what you did, and then you improve it by 90% and impact revenue by $35 million. That's something the employers want to see. Now, let me share with you the top three things that can help you to think about your impact. So ask you those three questions. Have you made any organizational improvement in terms of did you improve efficiency by whatever percentage? And second question, have you made any revenue or like cost saving related numbers that's available? And third, would you able to improve customer satisfaction? For example, you launch a product, you receive 100% customer satisfaction. That's something really valuable, especially you're applying for a product management job. Mistake number two is to use a wrong resume template. People really like to make fancy template. To be honest, it's not necessary if you know how to write the right content. And also way easier for hiring manager to read if you directly lay out your template in terms of line by line instead of left and right. Let me show you one of the resumes we have received. In this resume, this person, first of all, the biggest mistake is showing his pictures. I understand in some cultures like European and Asia, people love to put a professional picture of yourself on your resume. However, not in the US, we don't do that. So I would immediately remove the pictures on the resume. 
And second mistake in terms of his layout is that he put left and right and he wasted lots of space on the left hand side. So I wouldn't do that because from the hiring manager's perspective, I would scan through things on the right and try to look for things on the left. So it's harder for me to read. And the third mistake he made on his resume when we see the layout is that he talks about his experiences, but he didn't highlight his impact. So how is related to the product manager job you're applying or any type of jobs you're applying? So therefore, please make sure you need to use the right template to apply for the type of jobs you're going to use. Specifically, I have a product manager resume template. I recommend all of you guys download. It will increase your success rate significantly. And my template gives you specific examples how you put your experience into achievement and roles responsibilities. How will you lay out easily for hiring manager to read? Mistake number three is not to tailor your resume to the type of job you are applying for. Specifically, if you apply for a product management job, I expect you to show lots of product related experience and show the product manager keywords. If you want to use the right keywords, make sure you check out this video. I give you the full list of keywords you need to use. So lots of people like to use a consulting resume to apply for product manager. When I have those resumes in front of me, I was like, huh, you're looking for a consulting job? You should apply for BCG, McKinsey. Don't send me a resume here because the skill set we're looking for in terms of consultant and product managers are very different. Even if you might show in your achievement in your consulting resume, but you're missing the keywords of product managers and also the related experience. So I highly discourage you to use the same style of resume to apply for all possible jobs out there. Your resume should have different versions based on the type of jobs you're applying for. And especially if you apply for certain your dream job, I would tailor your resume to your dream job, specifically to the company and to the type of job you're gonna do for them as well. This will make you stand out very quickly. So comment down below and let me know what kind of resume mistakes you have made. And you can also ask me questions regarding whether what you have done is right or wrong. Happy to give you a quick overview and see how I can help you to avoid those resume mistakes. If you like any of the tips I've shared with you so far, please make sure to give me a thumb up because I would really appreciate the greatest content can be seen by all the people out there. Mistake number four is to have the grammar mistake on your resume. Myself is also an immigrant. English is not my first language. I don't write very well, to be honest. It's a shame. But I still make mistakes when I write my resume as well. There's lots of grammar mistakes and errors myself cannot catch. So I recommend all of you guys have someone else to proofread, especially have some like American speakers to read it for you. Do not have some other student whose English wasn't as good as yours to proofread your resume. So make sure you have someone better than you to help you out as well. So when we talk about the resume grammar mistakes, let me give you some examples. This type of mistakes I made as well, so embarrassing. Uh, I always put those at wrong tense in terms of those mistakes when you see on my resume. Sometimes I didn't use the past tense or throughout the entire experience, all your experience in certain companies should be all past tense, make it consistent as well. And sometimes I forgot S and pearls and different mistakes happens a lot. So I recommend you guys actually to use a software called Grammarly. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I myself use Grammarly to check my grammar mistake as well. But the best way is find a coach or someone to proofread your resume, but the person has to be better than you in terms of the writing skills. Mistake number five, it's at least irrelevant experience on your resume. Let's use product management as an example. You apply for any product manager job, I expect you to list experience as most relevant to product management and write a relative longer session about those experience. For the ones that's irrelevant, I would put them down below and also make the paragraphs about those experience much shorter. So it doesn't matter you're the greatest engineer or graded dancers or anything you can imagine. It's irrelevant to the job. So I will keep those experience very short and you may thinking like removing some of the experience if it happened more than 10 years ago. It's totally up to you. If you want to bring it back, you think it's relevant to product management such as engineering experience, but you still need to make it very short. I will give it maximum two bullets. Let me give you one of the mistakes I made myself. That's crazy. So take a look at the resume I used earlier. There's no clue you can tell I'm applying for product management or applying for research experience. I'm just dumping in everything I've done before. Looks like I have more than 20 years experience. However, at the time only have eh, a few years experience, some school project. But you bring down everything on the resume to make it like, this is irrelevant, I'm so confused. What kind of job are you applying for? Are you a scientist? 
Are you applying for business analysts? Are applying for product managers? Eee, don't make the same mistake I did when I was younger. Now you may ask this question. So Nancy, what exactly should I put on my resume given you only want to put the relevant experience? So I made a YouTube video talking about the right product management experience and make sure you check this out right now. Mistake number six is write a very, very long resume. And I think this is not the first time I tell you guys about writing a long resume. To be honest, people still make those mistakes. The longest resume I ever received is nine pages. Nine pages! Duh! So that person the person only had four years experience. Why you write nine pages resume? It's the whole, the whole biography of your life is on your resume. Don't do that. I recommend everybody to maximum give two pages of your resume. If you don't know how to cut your resume shorter, make sure to check out this video where I tell you some examples to answer questions in terms of making your experience short and concise. The rule of thumb is that if you had less than 10 years experience, try to condense it into one page and maximum two pages. If you have 20 years experience, yes, you can write about two pages of resume. So I don't recommend anybody to go over two pages and some content you can cut on your resume such as hobbies. If out of space, cut off your hobbies or volunteer experience. You have space and write those as well to really think about how would you prioritize. So when you write your resume, think about your product manager as well because product managers prioritize requirements, product features. You need to think as a product manager since day one. If you want to get way more product manager interview opportunities much quicker, you can download my product manager resume template right here. This is a killer resume helps you to get four offers within 60 days during the pandemic. Feel free to download directly at the description of this video. If you like any of the videos and want to have more people see my best content out there, I really appreciate you can like and comment and click the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. I also have more videos on my left and right. I hope it'll help you to quickly get a product manager job as soon as possible. All right, I'm gonna see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.